the latter splendour of this house shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. Remember where we left off our reading in Ezra? When the builders had laid the foundation stone of the new temple, the younger generation exploded with joy. The older folks, however, remembered how wonderful the old temple was and wept just as loudly as the happy people were rejoicing, so that the people could not distinguish the sound of the joyful shout from the sound of the people's weeping. Ezra 3.12 God noticed this negative reaction, recorded by the prophet Haggai. Who is left among you that saw this house in its former glory? How does it look to you now? Is it not in your sight as nothing? We are not the returned exiles to whom God is directly speaking. However, there is a pattern of God's behaviour that he wants us to notice, and from which we should take heart. The old Jerusalem was evil. We have read enough of the historical record and prophets now to understand this. God has taken that evil and destroyed it. Now God rebuilds, better than before. Where is God's temple now? The Babylonians were not the final word. We know that the Romans came in and destroyed the second temple a few decades later after Christ's ascension. Christ, as God the rebuilder, gave us a pretty obvious hint where the new temple is in John 2.19, when he said he would raise the destroyed temple in three days. We understand this as Christ speaking about his physical body. God is everywhere, and yet God talks about wanting a home to dwell in. This does not mean God moves from one place to another. It means there is one place God enjoys above all else. This place where God enjoys being most is his temple, and this temple is our body. God's pattern of rebuilding better than before applies to us. God now lives in us, and Paul wants us to be part of the interior design team. Let us make our bodies a nice place for God to be. Hang up some curtains of compassion, a couch of kindness, some humility and meekness framed on the walls, a pot of patience on the doorstep. The walls are painted with love, inside and out, and when we sit at the dinner table of our hearts, with our Lord as the guest, he sits at the head of the table, as the peace of Christ rules in our hearts. <laughs>